so guys in this video we'll talk about this uh, question which normally asked in many interviews which is related to aws okay so what they ask actually how would you design an aws architecture to ensure high availability and resiliency of an application so we need to understand two things here these two terms are totally different first is high availability second is resiliency so high availability is something when we are talking about that our application and services should up and running most of the time okay there might be some glitch but not down fully next is a resilience of an application that means if in case it get failed it should recover very very fast so it should up and running as soon as it get failed so these are the two things which we need to consider and mainly what happens for our application there are multiple things there are servers involved there are traffic involved there are storage and there are some dvs as well so these are the few things which we need to take care while we are discussing such points okay so whenever we talk about how we need to design then we always need to think about these parts so if we will talk about the servers so we should always keep the servers in different availability zones within a region so what happens how will be our design so there is a region and we have multiple availability zone as you know right so minimum there should be two but there can be three as well so <coughs> for example our server is hosted on this one then it should also host on one another one as well to provide high availability so in case if the server where our application is hosted get down it will be available from this another server okay next thing we need to keep our load balancer as well okay so we will use load balancer in aws we are having elastic load balancer to evenly distribute traffic across multiple instances with each availability zone so also similarly like if you are having multiple servers then we should use this elv so it will distribute the traffic evenly and also we will enable automatic failover so what happens if in case one server get down then it's this load balancer will not send traffic to that down server it will send to the server which is running prop function and functional properly next thing whenever we talk about the dvs come into picture then we should use uh, amazon rds okay so that uh, why we should use amazon rds because it provide redundancy and automatic backup so it will help us in case one instance of database get down then we can use the another one and it will happen automatically and the backup will also happen automatically when we are talking about the storage we should keep our data in s3 for the data uh, backups and we should store this backup in multiple availability zones so whenever we need we can have access to that one and for the normal traffic we should use dns failover so these are the few things which we need to keep in mind to provide a functional and effective solution for high availability and resiliency of an application i hope you find this video helpful related to this question next video we will talk about more questions and will explain how we can design that particular solution